Tony, you still up? Tony? Yes? It's me, it's Sam. Can I come in? Yes, Sam. Mind if I put your light on? In a little while. I was sound asleep. I've got a headache. Okay. I've got something to tell you, Tony. Yes, Sam. on this deal. Well, that's why I wanted to. You see, it... It started a long way back. I... I don't know yet how it's gonna finish. What do you want me to say? I don't know. What do you want me to do? I don't know. All you have to do is tell me the truth. Like you did when those goons worked me over. No, or even. Oh, I'm beat up. I'm sorry I said that to me. Look, kid. I'm sorry. Myself, not at you. Do you want me to leave? Do you want to leave? That's up to you, Sam. I'm here on the rain check. Well, now, don't put it that way. You're here because that's the way we wanted it. And now? Sure. I'm just not sure. I want to speak to Sam Masterson. Put that phone down. Hello, Sam. This is Walter. I know I'm not disturbing you. Martha just came in. Well, what do you want? I want you to come up here. Now. Right now. Are you crazy? The service... I gave them the night off. You're drunk. <laughs> I've had a lot to drink, but I'm not drunk. I suppose it'd be stupid to ask where you were. Yes, it would. Sam's not leaving, is he? Ask him when he gets here. I just got my answer. Then there are no more questions. No, I know what I need to know. Sam the Superman. Sam, the dirty little boy from the other side of the tracks. I'll go and change. I wouldn't want him to see me in the same dress twice. Come. 
come in. Tony. You're leaving, huh? There's a bus out in about an hour. Tony. I... Sam, it's, it's better this way. Look. Sam, I came back here with you because you said you didn't like to be pushed around. I liked you when you said that. You were looking for trouble, but it was a good kind of trouble. And now... Now what? Sam, I saw her. You're going to get hurt. Leave her, Sam. Leave this town, even without me, but, but leave. I can't. At least not just yet. You're going to need some money. No, thanks. Let's break clean. Upstairs, getting dressed for the occasion. I'll go upstairs. Why did you call me? Got a riddle, Sam. Maybe you can help me solve it. The little riddle called, What's to be done about me, Martha, and you? <laughs> Sounds just like a poem. If it rhymed, it would rhyme with murder. He's drunk. He's been sitting here drinking all night. Draw a chalk line and I'll walk it. Or I'll take a mental test. Any question like, uh, what is my object in life? I tried to stop him from calling you. You're a wiseacre. An angry boy. You know all the answers, don't you? How are you on dreams? And I was glad he called you. I was frightened of him, Sam. She was frightened of me. I had a dream, Sam. It was about you. In my dream, you were not a handsome corpse. Maybe it was some other guy. In other dreams, there were others. I told you he's drunk. Did you say others? Many others. He's lying. Poor little Martha. Her life was so empty. Is that what she told you, Sam? I don't want him in here, Sam. Make him get out. Now you're all of them, Sam. Every one of them rolled into one. Sam, make Keep him... Keep talking. I'm all of them rolled into one. Yes. You're a gymnasium instructor in Philadelphia with a muscle for a brain and a tendency to insipid verse. You're a guy, just a guy named Pete in Erie who smells the fish and sings. You're last year's greatest fullback and you flunked your bar exam, but you wanted to be an industrial engineer. You're a guy who came along to fix a tire so well you became a city paid inspector. And you're a lot of this. But worst of all, you're the one and only man who shares with me the only claim I have on it. Ask her, Sam. Say to her, Mark, is all this true? What if it is? What did you expect? She never wanted to marry you. If you had any self-respect, she married me because she felt that way, I would never tell. That's a lie. Your old man forced her. How long do you expect her to go on paying off? 